Sportsbooks are always giving out free bets. Let's talk about how I make the most of them. Welcome back to the Green Means Go channel. It's your host, me. And this is something that I have taken for granted in my sports betting career, free bets. Uh, it's something that I've uh, gotten used to doing, and that is converting the free bets. And I forget that sometimes new sports bettors don't understand the principles behind that. So the purpose of this video is to kind of explain how to convert free bets, why I convert free bets, and some tools to help you get that done a little bit easier. This was all prompted because I had a couple of messages on my latest videos about Dinger Tuesday and NBA 3s day from DraftKings where I always advise people to convert the free bets that they get at the end of these promotions and multiple people reached out and said what is that all about so that is the purpose of this video so we will go ahead and jump into that once I can figure out which button to click so in this video we're going to talk about how to convert free bets some tips and tricks to turn sports books free bets into guaranteed money now before we do that I want to talk about my three pillars when I think about sports betting, I think about two different camps, and you have to start to identify which camp you want to belong in. And it's not a black and white situation where you have to be all in on one or all in on another, but those two camps are, am I doing this to make money, legit money, and win, or am I doing this for entertainment? And I don't think there is a right answer to that. If you are someone who works a nine to five and you want to have a little fun at night and this is just for entertainment, then, you know, my channel may help you. But it, it at the end of the day, it's not for you because I am someone who tries to live in the make money camp. And to be in that camp, I have narrowed it down to three pillars that can help you make money sports betting. And those three pillars uh, that I have coined and trademarked uh, as of today are these three things. Track your bets, one of the most important and underutilized aspects of sports betting. There are multiple ways to do this. I keep a spreadsheet of everything. You can do it on pen and paper. There are different apps like Picket that can help automate it and do it for you. You can just keep track of balances on books, but I reconcile that every single day. I put every single bet I make into a spreadsheet. Sometimes it is 50 to 100 bets a day. And then the next day I get on in the morning, I settle it up and I keep my running balance. So that keeps me honest. That keeps me accountable and helps me see my growth. The second thing is, and this is the hardest for, for some people, is to only play promotions. When sports betting came to my state, I was very much a... Uh, I don't want to call myself a degenerate because I set boundaries for myself, but it was a lot of a lot of parlays, a lot of long shots, a lot of fun, a lot of entertainment. And when I realized I could make legitimate money if I only played promotions on every sports books, it kind of took the fun out of gambling uh, because I actually saw my bankroll increase which goes back to number one, tracking your bets. So get all the apps that your state has. In my state, I have 12 to 15 apps. And every day I get on and I go through each of them. And I say, what promos are offered? What profit boosts are offered? What insurances are offered? And I play them all and I track them all. And every day I update my sheet. So I don't really gamble anymore. My gambling is always backed by a promotion. And so some people will reach out, you know, what are your plays for today? And it's hard because I don't know what my plays are. If it's not backed by a promo, I'm really not playing it. So if 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 you're kind of on the edge of, of, of trying that out, I would recommend it. Take a month. Don't do any gambling if it's not backed by a promo. Track your bets and see if you can't make some money. The third and final thing is converting your free bets, which is the point of this video. Um, and so sorry about the little tangent there, but I want people to make money doing this. Sports books are massive million dollar companies for a reason. And I think that we can get back at them if we follow these three pillars. There are two paths to converting your free bets. There is the free way and the paid way. Uh, the paid way is obviously easier, but it does require you to give up a portion of your bankroll to have this added service. The free way takes more time and it may not return maximum value. So you just need to figure out which way works best for you. Before we talk about how we do it, let's talk about why. And um, I know this is a, a really colorful cotton candy, uh, gender reveal-esque looking slide, but I think it's going to speak volumes. And if you can strap in for a little math, I think it may change your perspective about converting free bets. A lot of people are going to be hesitant. You know, I got a $20 free bet. I don't care if I return this for 70% and get 14 bucks, right? The money's already gone anyway. Let me just throw this on a long shot parlay and try to win. If that's your if that's your deal, that's fine, right? Like I'm, you're not going to receive judgment from me. Um, but when you're complaining about losing money um, over the course of a month, I'm going to question why you decided to throw that long shot parlay 
with your $20 free bet. So let's take a look at ESPN bet. ESPN bet has received a lot of backlash. Um, but I will say it's been very consistent in 2023 and 2024 for promotions. One of those promotions is bet $20 on a first goal score in NHL and get your bet back if it loses. This is an incredible promotion. Um, and we're going to walk through the math on why. They have a ton of promotions, but uh, this one I'm giving as the example because it makes for the math it makes the math easy, but this math applies to anything that will return your bet with a free bet if it loses. So, let's say I take player A at 10 to 1 at plus 1000 odds. I risk 20 to win $220. So, I like um, you know, uh, Chris Kreider and I bet him to score the first goal, 20 bucks, and it will pay 220 if he does. If I know, and I do know, because this, I converted my free bets, if I know I will return 70% of my $20 back if this wager loses, I'm going to get 14 back anyway. So 14 minus 20 is $6. So right now, I am really, in my mind, I'm not risking $20 on this bet. I'm risking $6 because I know, for a fact, I'm going to convert my free bet at 70% at worst. And you may be lucky to get 75 80%. Those opportunities are falling off a little bit. But... At the end of the day, my risk is not $20. It's $6, all right? And that's what I tell myself. So if you are risking $6 to win $220, you are actually getting odds of plus $35.60, okay? So you're not making a, a plus, 1, 000, uh, plus 1,000 odds bet. You're actually making a plus 3,500 odds bet if you know you're going to convert your free bet, which puts your EV at 232%. I know EV guys are going to, uh, it's funny because I don't know if a lot of EV guys convert their free bets. They just return their free bet onto another EV play uh, for the most part, I think, um, which, you know, we, we can debate that. Um, but the, the, in my opinion, if, if you are a conservative better, if, if you're cautious and you want to just slowly build your bankroll, I think the best thing to do is convert these free bets because you're getting an original bet at 232% EV. Okay, and and here's the calculations here: thirty-five, sixty fair odds are a thousand. Um, you know, that's that's what the meth checks out at. So that's how I approach every single bet I make when I know I'm going to get the free bet. Um, I'm not making a twenty dollars bet. I'm making a thirty percent of the whatever wager it is bet because I know I'm going to get it back. Okay, so that's some math behind why I think converting free bets is actually the best way to maximize value for someone who wants to make a guaranteed profit. There are really two paid options in this space, and I've used both. And um, the video, this video is not a review of either. Odds Jam is very expensive, but they do have a special promo plan for the same price as Dark Horse. Odds Jam has plans up upwards of two thousand dollars a month, but they do have a, a promo plan at forty dollars a month. And I would argue that they are pretty good about negotiating price. I would reach out and I would say, hey, I'm just a, a small fish who's looking to get into this. I just want to kind of convert my free bets. Is there a way that you can offer me the promo plan for 20 bucks a month just to try it out? I, I've had good luck with with negotiating odds jam prices. So uh, maybe something to look out for. These are all the features that you would get within that. Dark Horse is another option, less um, likely to negotiate price with you, but for $40 a month, you get a little bit more. They also have a two-day free trial and $30 off your first month. So if you want uh, two days and a month for $9, just to kind of get your feet wet, just to track this, I would recommend it. And if you do that, you track it and you realize that you've made some money in a month. Now you can maybe afford the next month at $40. They're going to offer you a little bit more. They're going to uh, offer you access to profit boost converters. So let's say, you know, 50% profit boost on the masters. You can go in and you can uh, uh, enter all that into the profit boost calculator and it will tell you how to hedge it for a guaranteed profit, similar to what we're doing with the free bet. Bonus bets, site credit, um, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And they also offer arbitrage opportunities. So that has a little bit more value than odds jams at, at 40. So my advice is if you're going paid, I would do dark horse at that price because you're going to get a little more unless you just want to do um, free bet conversion and you're willing to reach out to odds jam and ask for a discount. If they can knock that down to half price, 20 bucks, then I think odds jam would be fine at that price because you're going to make more than 20 bucks back in value with converting your free bets. The paid options do offer you to filter by book um, and, and spit out the best conversion. It's going to be fast. It's going to maximize your value, but it is going to cost you some. The free option right now that I think is best is Crazy Ninja Odds, 
And uh, this is kind of what it looks like. It's very minimal. It, the UI obviously isn't going to uh, jump out the, off the page at you, but you don't need it to. Uh, a lot of filters here, free bet uh, sports book. So if I have a free bet on FanDuel and I can sort by league, by sport, by how many um, odds, uh, maximum odds or minimum odds that I have, um, you can enable player props and such. So right now for a main line, there is a conversion for the NBA tonight. Uh, Pistons and Mavericks, you would take the uh, Pistons on FanDuel and you would hedge it with the Mavericks. I believe this was on Bet Rivers and you'd return 76%, which is pretty good. Um, now, the only negative about converting free bets is your bankroll does often have to be fairly sizable and everybody's money is different. So I don't want to, you know, kind of assume what sizable is to you. But when you put a $50 bet, that you want to convert, you're probably going to need three, $400 on the other side to hedge it. Um, and so when you're just starting out, that may be difficult. And it's, it's probably why a lot of people don't do this because they don't have um, the means to put 300 $400 on multiple books and spread that spread that out. So I understand if that's not something you're able to do, but if you are, and you're just too lazy to do it, um, that's a different story. Okay. Uh, free options besides crazy ninja odds is to just find them on your own, which I used to do before any of these services existed. And the basic principle is you want your free bet to be on large plus odds. So plus 500 plus 600. And you want your hedge bet to be minus odds as close to the number of plus odds. So in other words, if you're going to find a plus 500 line to convert your free bet, you want your minus odds line, your hedge bet to be about minus 500 to maximize value, okay? Plus 500 minus 1,000 isn't going to return very much. Plus 500 minus 550 will return a lot more. So another tool that I use is on sportsbookreview.com. They have a free, pay, free play calculator. And so what you can do is you can put in your free play amount. You can put in the line you're going to bet that on and then the hedge line on the other sports book. So you can see that a plus 500 minus 600 is a 71% conversion, which is totally fine. I will tell you that back in the day, okay, two years ago, you could get 80, 90% conversions that would stay up for, for hours at a time. It's getting to the point where you're 70, I'm fine with, I'll accept a 70. And sometimes I have to knock it down to 65. And that's fine, right? That's okay. Uh, my tips would be if you're finding these on your own, um, look at NBA money lines, uh, which is gonna, gonna run out here soon. Baseball's in full swing, no pun intended. And I think home run hitters and um, even sometimes triples are good for converting FanDuel free bets. So you'll go to FanDuel and you'll look for guys to hit a home run and you'll go over to DraftKings or any other book and you'll look at there to not hit a home run. The only risk with that is FanDuel's MLB house rules state that if a player does not start but pinch hits, the bet is live. Whereas every other book, they must start. So let's say you have a bet on Aaron Judge to hit a home run and you, have, you find a great conversion with DraftKings and you place it at 9 a.m. Well, at noon, lineups come out and Aaron Judge is not in the lineup, okay? That would be fine if he doesn't pitch hit. You'd get the free bet back. It'd just be a void. But let's say he does pinch hit. Now your FanDuel bet is live and your DraftKings bet is not. So I guess worst case with that is your hedge bet voids and you have a uh, just a gamble on your free bet. You may lose it if they pinch hit. So not the worst. Uh, you just may lose your free bet. So that is just a quick rundown of free bet converting. And I'm happy to make these videos. I struggle with keeping things short and sweet. I like to give a lot of information. And I know that sometimes people come to YouTube for a quick tip. And that is not necessarily what I do here. So if you want more sports book navigating, profit navigating, anything related, um, I'm always open to suggestions. If you have questions, you can comment those. I can make more videos. Um, I will link in the description some of the resources that I shared in this video so that you can have access to those easily. Otherwise, I appreciate you coming by and checking out the free bet conversion video. And as always, I talk about sports on this channel. I talk about sports betting on this channel. I try to help you become a profitable sports better with as little risk as possible. And I also uh, try to deliver some hot takes that uh, I know will troll the internet with my sports opinions. Um, so there you go. There's your there, there's your preview of the Green Means Go channel. And uh, take care and convert those free bets, and we will see you next time.